Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about some miscellaneous examples on the chapter named as statistics. Okay, so I am writing the question number one. So students, here is the question given to us that the variance of 20 observation is 15. Okay, and what is given next is if each observation is multiplied by 2, find the new variance. This is very interesting question and very important from exam point of view students. We are given the variance and I am writing down the formula for variance is I equal 1 to 20 because 20 observations are given to us. Okay, so this is the formula that I am writing here. The variance of 20 observation is 15 given, 5 given to us. Okay, so this is 5 equal 1 by 20 into summation i equal 1 to 20 xi minus x bar square. So this is equal 100 summation i equal 1 to 20 xi minus x bar square. So if you notice that we are given each observation is multiplied by 2. So now I can write yi is equals to 2xi okay and also xi is equals to 1 by 2 yi and y bar the new mean will be 1 by n summation i equal 1 to 20 yi. So what you will get is y bar is equals to 2 times x bar or you can say x bar is half of y bar. So now I will put the values of xi and x bar in terms of y and y bar. So the new variance this is summation n square is coming out to be or you can say 1 by 20 summation i equal 1 to 20 in place of xi I will put the value 1 by 2 yi minus 1 by 2 y bar okay so now this is coming out to be 1 by 20 into 400 so this is equals 20 or you can say this is the first variance was 5 and the new variance was 2 square times 5 so it is multiplied by a factor of 2 square when the each term is multiplied by 2 the new variance will be multiplied by its square which is 2 square okay students so this is very very important question from the exam point of view okay now let's discuss one more question based on variance so student here is the question that is given to us the mean of 5 observation is 4.4 and their variance is given to us as 8.24 and if we are given also the first three terms of the observation are 1, 2 and 6 and we need to find out the other two terms. So I can write the formula for mean is 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus let's say the two terms are x and y upon 5 is given to us as 4.4. So from here x plus y is coming out to be 13. So if you put multiply cross multiply all this value you will get the value of x plus y. And next we are given the variance which is 8.24 is equals to 1 by 5 summation i equal 1 to 5 xi minus x bar whole square. Okay. So I will put the value of 8.24 is equals to 1.5 upon 3.4 square as you know the mean and the first term is 1 so it is mean minus first term is 3.4 square plus second term is 2.4 square and third term is 1.6 square another term is x square plus y square minus 2 into 4.4 x plus y and 
plus 2 into 4 point 4 square so this is the terms that we will get so after solving this what we will get student is h square plus y square is coming out to be 97 so now we have two equation this is one equation this is equation number two so after solving these two equations what we will get is value of xy is coming out to be 72 2xy is 72 xy is coming out to be 36 okay so what we get is x minus y square is equals to x plus y square minus 4xy so by using this formula we will get the value of x minus y as plus minus 5 so now we have two equations equations number one and equation number two by adding these two equations i will get the value of x so when x equal 9 y will become 4 and when x equal 4 y will become 9 so these are the two possible solutions in this case means the two other observations will be 4 or 9 or you can say vice versa 9 or 4 okay so i hope students that you are pretty clear about how to solve this type of questions so this is all about statistics and if you are still facing any issue or any question based on this chapter then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning